For many people, their main company over recent months has been the TV. And for one tiny station, it's been its busiest time ever. Talking Pictures is run from an office in a garden in Hertfordshire by father and daughter. Its peak weekly audience has reached almost 6 million. And the reason it's been so popular? It runs old, largely forgotten black and white movies. Our arts correspondent David Silito has been to meet them. Take a trip down memory lane with Talking Pictures TV. A treasure trove of British cinema history. Talking Pictures is... A bit of escapism. Nuclear physics. Like what they talk about on the telly. It's like a warm comfort blanket of nostalgia. Yeah, there you are. Pushing. What a pushing bit push for. Talking Pictures TV. It's a little reminder of black and white print. A TV channel based around one man's collection of films that other broadcasters have given up on. I've always had an interest in British films and oh, obscure British films at that. Today, a determined body of men carry on a relentless... We started to buy these uh, libraries of films. Did no one else want to take these films on? No. I remember going to a, a quite large um, satellite company and was told that we do not run black and white after four o'clock in the afternoon. This is stuff no one else wanted. Exactly so, yeah. A fish market, Billingsgate. And it's been there for over a thousand years. And its audience has been rising, nearly six million at the peak of the lockdown. Not bad for a little family business. And all of it is run from here, a little office in the garden. Hello, Talking Pictures. An HQ with two desks, one for Noel and one for his daughter, Sarah. So describe your audience. Charming. Oh, yes. Oh, were well, you? Yeah. Really, really lovely. Very vocal. I mean, they phone up constantly. You need to speak to Neil, darling. Let me put you through. Hold on, my love. You know, I love the fact that they feel that they can, can ring us and have a chat um, in the projectionist box with me and Dad. You know, it's, it's important. And I, I'm not sure there's many channels that have that kind of rapport or relationship with their audience. And relive the best of the past, the greatest talking pictures. A reminder of a lost world, and for many, a lockdown friend. David Zilato, BBC News, Hertfordshire. Oh, I love that. Right, let's take a look at the weather. It's